Hi guys, uh, this is Max. I've been asked to um, do a, a video on making a picture frame that I assigned for homework for this class. Let me do a relatively simple, just a butt joint picture frame. Uh, we're mostly doing this in order to create the, to practice the move tool and the rotate tool. Now I'm going to show you a couple things here first before we go on, which is that I have set up my video recording software so that when I click with my left mouse button like this, you see rings. That way you can see that I'm uh, clicking. And then I'm going to click with my right mouse button, you see the blue rings instead. Uh, so when you, you see that, don't be confused. That's just my video editing software. You will not see this when you're editing SketchUp. Okay, so we have a new document here. Um, when you start a new document, depending on your template, you might have Susan there. So I'm going to select Susan, and I'm going to delete her. Um, then I'm going to rotate uh, my field until I'm a little bit more above things, because a picture frame is kind of a 2D project. OK, so I'm going to hit R for rectangle, and I'm going to uh, start at the origin. And I'm going to make a style. For my um, for my picture frame. Now that's three foot something by nineteen foot something. That's obviously too big, but let's sit, think we'd probably have something like a uh, two inch by eighteen inch for a very uh, sizable picture frame. Now this is quite small on the screen, so I'm going to hit, hit my capital Z. That's going to be zoom extents, and I'm going to pull back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so here we have our, our style. Oh, actually, that's just a flat uh, face. So let's hit P for push-pull and pull out the thickness of our stock. If I were making a picture frame, I might start with something like um, 5 8 inch stock. There we go. There's our stock. And um, now that we have a 3D piece that I can readily identify, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to hit the space bar for select, and I'm going to triple click, one, two, three. Now I've selected the whole thing. I'm going to make it a component, and I'm going to give it a, a reasonable name. So that's a style. Now I'm going to make a another style. So I'm going to move copy this style um, in this direction. I'm going to begin moving it. You'll notice I'm moving along the red axis. I'm going to tap the control key. That's going to turn this into a copy rather than just a move. And I'm going, as soon as I know I'm on the right axis, I'm just going to click. And I'll type in a number rather than doing anything else. So that was um, 18 inches high, subtract 2, subtract 2. That's going to be 14 inches high. And let's say we want something 9 inches wide. Um, so I'm going to move this by 11 inches in that direction. That was 11 inches in order to uh, subtract 2 inches off for the width of the stock. And now I have two rails. Now remember that this is going to be a right rail and this is going to be a left rail. So this is going to be a mirror image of the left rail. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip it along the components red. All right, we just moved along in the red direction, and now we're flipping in the red direction. So there's a, those are true mirror images of each other. Um, all right, now we're doing a simple picture frame here, just so that we can um, practice our move and and rotate tools. So this is just going to be a butt joint. I'm going to hit Q, and that's going to bring up the rotate tool. So I'm going to start on this endpoint. Now my uh, rotate tool is already in in blue, so that's the correct axis of rotation. I don't really care what I'm rotating around because I'm going to move it once I rotate it. I begin to rotate it, tap control, and look, 90 degrees. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner it says 90 degrees. If it had been something else, if it had been 80 degrees, 80 degrees, then I could simply just type 90 degrees and it would go to 90 degrees. Okay, let's zoom back a little bit orbit so we can see the end of things a little bit. Now this is going to become our rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to 
make it unique because I don't really want this to be the st the style anymore. So I want it to be uh, I want it to be a rail. So I said make unique, and it takes it creates a new component definition called style number one because it came from style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that completely to rail. Okay, and now that that component is called rail. As long it's clearly too long, so I'm going to hit the space bar here. Oh, sorry, I was still he here uh, editing this this box, so get rid of those two spaces I just added to the entity info, and I clicked away from entity info and hit the space bar, and now I'm to the select tool. So I'm going to double click on this. Now I'm editing this context of this component called rail. You'll notice that these dim out a bit. So I'm going to hit P for push-pull. I'm going to hover over the end of this piece. I'm going to move it until I reach this edge somewhere. See, as long as I'm on this edge, that's how far I want to push-pull it. I find endpoints to be convenient places to stop on things. So click on the endpoint. We can see that it's nicely lined up. Because of where we rotated it, it's nicely lined up on this side. If it hadn't been, I could click in here and move it. But it is, so we're good there. Alright, I'm going to hit the space bar and click away from that highlighted area. Okay, so now I'm going to M for move. I'm going to go up to this end point here and I'm going to start to move it and tap control. So now I'm copying. I would like another rail come to the up to the corresponding spot on the style All right so that endpoint should match up with that endpoint there we go now I'm gonna put a rabbit on this and you're gonna see a strange thing happen because um, this is our, our basic mitre um, our, our basic butt jointed picture frame but if I hit the space bar and I double click on this now first off, we can't see the end of this, and that's what I would li really like to do. I'd like to see the end of uh, this rail. So I'm going to come up here to view component edit, because I'm editing a component, and see here it says hide rest of models. Now I do have a shortcut for that, which is control R. Uh, next time I do this, I'll just hit control R and I'll tell you, but that's what I'm doing. What that means is that if I'm editing this component and I have hide rest of model, it only shows me the component that I'm editing it. If I hit control R, we see everything is still there, but I just can't see it. And it kind of gets things out of the way when I'm editing components. So I'm going to come in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rabbit along this edge of that rail. And to do so, I'm going to hit R for rectangle, and I'm going to look at the cross section of that rabbit. All right, so I am drawing a rectangle on this face, on this end, and I just clicked. And in, you look down here, it says dimensions are 7 16th by 3 16th. That's not really the size of the wrap I want. So I, let's say I want a 3 8 by 1 8 um, rabbit. So I type that in, and there's my dimensions. Now I'm going to use the push pull tool to push this face. All right, when I do that, I'm actually going to be, I'm going to be deleting part of this board like that. And I, I'm going to scroll around here, I'm going to rotate around here, I'm going to scroll in so you can see I'm clicking. Now the thickness of the piece I'm left with is zero so it just deletes it. Boom, it's gone. Easy way to create a rabbit, just push in from the end. Alright, so I'm going to hit escape to get out of this context. And you'll notice, look, this is never got mirrored. However, remember that when I this was originally a component oriented this way. When I rotated it, I rotated its system of coordinates as well. So its system of coordinates is red in that direction, even though in the world that's green. So I'm going to double click on that for a moment. I believe I can view an axis here. View axis. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I already have it on. You'll see that I have blue, and this is red, and this is green. So what I really wanted to do, want to do is mirror this in the component's red direction. 
that is this direction. So right click, flip along, components red, and my rabbit is now to the inside. All right, last thing to do is to uh, put a corresponding rabbit on this style. What we can't do is we can't do this. We can't come along and type, put in our rectangle like this. And what was it I said? It was 3 8 by 1 8. Oh, sorry. I just did undo. So 3 8 by 1 8. If I do this and I create that rabbit, all you woodworkers out there know what's going to happen. Look, I have a hole on the bottom of my frame. What I really wanted was to start a stopped rabbit here. So I'm going to undo that. Undo drawing the rectangle in the first place. I'm going to hit Control R so that we're looking at the rest of the model. We can create a rabbit going from the end, but where do you, we're in SketchUp. We don't have to think about how a table saw would do it. Let's just create a rabbit on this face. So I'm going to type R for rectangle. I'm going to find that corner right there. I just clicked once. I'm drawing a rectangle. I'm going to draw that rectangle all the way to this corner like that. Now if I do Control R, you can see I have a rectangle on that face which is a stopped the position of a stopped rabbit. So I'm going to hit P for push-pull. I'm going to push it back 3 eighths of an inch. All right. Now when I hit Control R, we see that everything lines up. Okay, going back to the global context, this is a component, so these line up well, and rotate around, and there is my picture frame. That's it guys, thanks.